Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. It has been a pretty nice evening here in middle Georgia. Temperatures staying pretty mild, but we are seeing some 50s already starting to move in across the area. It's going to be a little bit on the cool side by tomorrow morning as we wake up in those mid and lower 50s. But that's all thanks to these clear skies that we're seeing right now in the 41 sky view from Piedmont Macon Medical Centers. Overlooking downtown Macon this evening where everything's staying pretty calm at the moment. You take a look at our almanac from earlier today. We did manage to make it up to 83 degrees, which is actually above normal for this time of year. 50 one where we started out our day. It's going to be a pretty similar start for tomorrow, but I do think that we're going to warm up a couple degrees as we are heading into our Saturday. So get ready for a pretty warm day out there. You can see just to our North Atlanta sitting at 70 degrees, 71 over in Birmingham and still in the mid and upper 70s out to our West and parts of Texas and into Oklahoma. So those areas continuing to see that heat. That's also where we're tracking some strong thunderstorms for this evening. So in general, we've stayed pretty quiet, but you take a look and you can see still a few severe thunderstorms for parts of Kansas into parts of Texas. And we even had a few tornado warnings earlier this evening out there. But for us, it's all about high pressure keeping us clear. And that's going to be the story as we are heading into the weekend and even into the start of it next week. That's before that next system starts to move in, bringing us our next chance for some rainfall. So the high pressure, like I said, continuing to keep us clear. We're in a warm air mass already, so that's just going to kind of hang out with us for the next couple of days. We will see the potential from a sea breeze to bring in a few isolated showers closer to the coast. I'm not really thinking we're going to see much of that here in middle Georgia. However, as we're moving into Sunday, we could start to see a few more clouds pushing into areas of Mississippi and Tennessee because it's really going to be by Monday into Tuesday that we're going to start to see the impacts from this next cold front that's going to be moving in. So you can see that's going to go through kind of some ebbs and flows as far as the intensity, but I'm not expecting much here in our area by the time it gets here on Tuesday. For tonight, dropping down into the upper 50s by around 3 a.m., 56 degrees by around 5 a.m. Still expecting to see some low 50s across the area early tomorrow morning, but through the rest of the weekend, just really nice times out there. 84 degrees by Sunday. By Monday, this is going to be the day we really heat up. 88 degrees. We're also going to add in a little bit more moisture out there. So humidity will be cranking up a little bit as we're heading into Tuesday afternoon. Not a whole lot to worry about because that system is going to move out pretty quickly. So we'll see the sunshine on Monday. This cold front pushes in on Tuesday. It is going to likely break down as it pushes through middle Georgia. So not a significant amount of rainfall expected with this system. We're going to clear out and cool down on Wednesday with those highs only getting into the lower 80s. In just 10 seconds, I'll have a look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's VolumeChevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. Temperatures will be staying mainly in the mid-80s through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine on the way. That being said, by Monday, we're going to get close to 90 across parts of middle Georgia. Tuesday brings that big change of showers and thunderstorms, but we will be warming up pretty quickly after a cool down. By next Friday, we're back into the mid-80s.